Hey there, how to handle, how to positively handle chops to supersize your business. Probably thinking, what the heck are chops? Well, chops are challenges, hurdles, obstacles, problems, stuff, or, or situations. I actually knew the kitty cat's been bothering me and I knew I was going to run into my alarm. Sorry about that. So how do you handle those things that come up in your business? Yesterday we talked about the negative ways we handle those things and we're all guilty of that. Well, maybe you aren't, but I know I sure am. So I've had to work pretty hard on finding ways to positively handle the things that happen in our businesses as we are trying to grow them or supersize them or create whatever business you want. Whatever your business you're in, whatever you're doing in your life, when you're stepping out of the ordinary, the normal, what everybody else is doing, you're going to run into things that you have to deal with, things that you don't expect, situations that are outside of your control. Well, it'd be awesome if we could always be proactive and prevent those things, but it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. So there are going to be situations where we have to react to outside stimulus and how we react to them is critical in terms of how fast we resolve the situation and the outcomes and the results that we get. And we always want to get good results no matter if bad things happen in our lives or in our businesses. We always want the outcomes and the results to be the best possible given the situation and, and what's going on. So how do we do that? I do it in three ways. The first way I do it is by asking myself questions. I ask myself a lot of questions and I don't wait for perfection or for the answers, but I fire off a bunch of questions to try to get a broad perspective on what that situation actually is because sometimes what we think the situation is and what we think the problem or the challenge is really isn't the challenge or the problem. Uh, I should have had a couple of examples in my mind because I've got a gazillion stories about these things. But um, for example, when I was in a business running a, a bar and restaurant with a partner, we were sued by the neighbors, which was another business, which really isn't legal, but they found a loophole to try to sue us to get our liquor, our liquor license taken away. Now, <laughs> what we thought was the problem or the challenge or what they were saying we were doing wrong was ridiculous, by the way, but what we, what they were presenting as the problem wasn't the real problem or the real challenge. The real challenge was the neighboring business owner felt threatened by the business because the business he thought was taking away customers from him. It's called competition, right? And so you step up your game to be better. You don't try to sue and put other people out of business. But that goes to show you there's all different types of people and all different types of situations in the world and how they approach problems. Instead of saying, hey, there's plenty of business for everybody like we always do and I always do, they said, oh my God, there's competition. They're taking a piece of our pie. We need to stop them. We need to destroy them. We need to shut them down. So how do you handle that? We well, ask a bunch of questions. Number one is, do I really understand what the situation is? Do I really know what's going on here? How do I get more information? What else is possible? What else is possibly going on here? What else is possible for a solution? What else is possible is one of my favorite questions in the whole wide world because it opens, which leads us to the next step is changing your perspective and being open-minded about the situation and looking for what else is possible, what else could be a possible solution to this. If we are closed and we have one idea of what the solution has to be, we're hosed because there's always infinite possibilities. There's always a lot of ways to skin a cat. I hate that saying because I have cats. There's always another way to solve a problem or deal with a situation. There's always a better, faster, easier, more efficient, more effective way of doing absolutely everything on the planet. And we just have to be open to seeing that. And often if we just change our perspective and the way we look at the situation, everything changes. Um, I'm going to give a personal example that has to do with my life, but it, it also has had to do with my businesses in the past. We needed to move our business and sell a business. And it was a ton of work. It was a manufacturing business. And I'm talking, it was a ton of work in a very short period of time. And I could have approached that and been freaked out and stressed out and thought, oh, this is impossible. We're never going to get it done. Or I could change my mind and my perspective and I can say, how can we get this done? How can we make this happen? How can we change this? How can I look at this differently? Again, back to the questions and being open-minded. They kind of interact and, and run into each other, right? And the third thing that I always need to do and I always do when I'm faced with a chop or chops or a challenge or an obstacle or a, a hurdle or a situation that isn't optimal in my initial estimation of the situation, 
I take action. I take some kind of action immediately to move me toward what I want, not toward what the pushing against what the situation is, but moving me toward what I want. So if I want a smooth, easy move of my business or my home or whatever, or if I want to resolve a, uh, a personal situation, I'm going to take immediate action toward what I want. If I want a peaceful, awesome solution to that, I'm going to take the next step. What's the next step toward getting me to not what is, but what I want, because I always want to be more linked toward what I want in my business and to supersize my business. And if I know what that big goal is, it's easy to know, okay, what's the next step? Yep, this is a little hurdle, but maybe this really isn't a hurdle at all. Maybe it's just a stepping stone to get me toward what I want. Maybe I was kind of veering off and going down the wrong path in what I was thinking. Maybe I was going to launch a product line that really wasn't a great strategic fit for my end goal. And so something happened, some regulation or some there was a, a competitor we didn't expect or whatever it could be. And that put me back on track toward achieving my end goal faster. So whenever you're dealing with chops, to positively handle them, ask questions, ask a lot of questions. You don't have to have all the answers, but asking the question, the answers will come. Be open to changing your perspective and looking at the situation from different angles and other people's points of view in order to get a clear picture of the overall big picture of the situation, not just what you're seeing on the surface. And then take action immediately. Act. Do something. You're not going to do the ultimate act, but do some small act to move you toward what it is that you want. Maybe it's just doing some research online. Maybe it's calling a friend. Maybe it's calling an attorney. Maybe it is um, doing a search online to find out possible solutions to the situation or the problem that you find yourself in. That's it. Go out, make it a fantastic day. Tomorrow I want to talk about how do you handle, I was going to talk about how do you handle success because I was thinking about these things as failures, but I think tomorrow we'll talk about how to handle success and failure and how that impacts your supersizing your business and the speed at which you do that. That's it. Have a fantastic day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.